Hi there guys. Picked up a little something uh, a couple of weeks ago and it happens to fit in this uh, nice old canvas gun case because it's a takedown. So let's have a look inside and see uh, what's inside this old case. A little bit beat up but uh, still functional. There's the, uh, the back half of it. Take the other part out. This case was originally meant for a uh, takedown shotgun, I think, so it's a little longer than required for this, but uh, it works. There's the front half. And in the very last compartment, we should have a magazine to fit this. Box of 22s. Another box of 22s. And finally the magazine. So uh, what we have here is a Jevarm Model E1. We'll just put it together quickly. Pretty straightforward. Take down the nut at the front. Magazine in. There it is. All right, let's have a little closer look at this Jevarm Model E1. Right off the bat, uh, you can see that the bolt is held back to the rear, and that's because this uh, is an unusual 22. It fires from the open bolt position, and this example is uh, fairly well beat up. But it does work reasonably well. Fair bit of uh, finish wear on this example. The stocks are French walnut, and the receiver here is a die casting. I think it's uh, probably a zinc alloy. It has a rather uh, unusual finish. The finish is a crinkle finish, like you used to find on old radios and things like that. And of course it is a takedown rifle which makes it very convenient for storage and transport. So we'll have a look at the left hand side of the rifle here. Have a close-up look at the front sight. Very standard type of front sight, drift adjustable. The barrel is about 19 and 3 quarter inches long. see the uh, markings on it there. Carbine automatic, Jev arm, 22 long rifle, caliber 5.5, made in France, and some patent information. A fairly standard style of rear sight with a notch and an elevator. Got a detachable box magazine. This lever at the front is the magazine release. This lever at the back is actually to release the bolt when you're disassembling the rifle. Alloy receiver, as I mentioned before. Stock has a bit of a pistol grip to it. And we'll move back to the, uh, the butt plate here. And the butt plate has the Jevarm logo on it. Operation of the Jev arm is very basic. Magazine catch is at the front here. Push the magazine catch, pull the magazine out. This rifle is actually safer with the bolt in the forward position than it is with the bolt back because it fires from an open bolt, rather in the fashion of a uh, submachine gun. That's actually the fire position. Pulling the trigger. Moves the bolt ahead and fires the cartridge. It's a very simple design. There is no extractor, there is no ejector, and there is no separate firing pin. The firing pin is machined onto the breech face. The pressure from the cartridge case uh, pushing back against the breech face 
causes it to be pulled out of the chamber so there's no extractor and the ejector is actually a part of the feed lips the magazine if you look at the magazine you will see that this side of the feed lip is longer than this side so the cartridges come back into the chamber and hit the longer feed lip and that flicks them back to the side that's actually your ejector so it's not a separate part so there are very few moving parts with this rifle you basically got the trigger and the sear mechanism and the bolt just reciprocates back and forth there is no safety catch per se if you notice there on the bolt handle you can see red if you can see red that means the rifle is uh, basically safe or in an unsafe position I should say there's a notch over here or a hole on the other side of the receiver and that's that that's the safety feature of this rifle if we pull the bolt back further we can actually shove the bolt handle through the bolt and it'll protrude into that hole on the other side you'll notice that the red has been covered up and that is actually the safe position so with the bolt locked to the rear like that it cannot be fired so that's the safety per se for this rifle have a look at the top of the Jev arm you can see it's grooved for a 22 tip-off style mount and the rear sight is a very standard style of notch you can see it's got a French proof mark on this flat which has been machined on top of the barrel let's have a look at the magazine for this Jev arm you can tell this one's in kind of a weathered shape it had some rust on it when I got it it was kind of neglected before I got my hands on it. And with a close up look at the back, you can see there's a Jevarm logo on the back. Apparently, not all of these magazines have that logo on them. This particular magazine will hold nine shots. However, I have heard that there are uh, seven shot versions around as well. Uh, it may just be that um, this magazine will hold a couple shots more than it should. At any rate, it will hold nine cartridges. There are also extended 20 shot magazines around for these Jev Arm rifles. I don't have one of those, those are uh, kind of a rarity. Magazines are kind of the Achilles heel of this rifle, they are hard to come by. If you find a rifle that has no magazine, you are going to be in for a very long, hard look to find a magazine to fit it. And it won't be cheap either. Replacement magazines can be. Uh, you know, as much as $100, 80 to $100. And as I mentioned earlier about the uh, ejector, you can see clearly that the feed lips are of different lengths. So this side here acts as the uh, ejector, instead of having a, a separate ejector in the rifle. Unlike most 22s, this rifle is actually safer when the breech is ahead because it can't fire with the breech closed. To load it, take your loaded magazine, Insert it in the mag well until it locks in place. Pull the bolt back, and the bolt will stay back in that position. That is actually the fire position. When you pull the trigger, the bolt will go ahead, strip a cartridge from the magazine, chamber it, and fire it. It will then be blown back, and the bolt will be held rearward by the sear until the trigger is released, squeezed again. You can repeat the process. Give you a close-up view of what it looks like when the action's fired. show you the rather unusual firing pin strike that the Jev arm gives the cartridges. You can see it, uh, it's almost like a screwdriver slot. It pinches the cartridge straight across the bottom and because of that it pinches the rim on both sides at the same time which makes for a very reliable ignition. Many times 22 cartridges will be missing some uh, priming compound on one side or the other. Chances are that this firing pin will pinch the rim somewhere where there's some priming compound and reliably set the, uh, the round off. Although I'm shooting CCI and I must say CCI is exceedingly reliable. 
but sometimes uh, some of the other brands have more misfires and this system of basically what amounts to a double rim strike is very efficient at uh, setting the cartridges off.